Back Force Globe Play Let's Defense and welcome. Once again, those pesky invaders are peskily invading somewhere or other with something. We've got to choose our weapons wisely and let them have it. Death Valley! I didn't even give you a chance to read that, sorry. We skip ahead a little bit. I'm surrounded by deadly, deadly spiders. Ah! You see, I'm doing terribly well. There's lots of spiders jumping everywhere, coming to get me. Hope they don't kill me. Saucer, that was silly. Can't see a thing, there's grass everywhere. It's a brand new stage you may have noticed. With the large outdoorsy stage. It's quite large and outdoorsy. It's got a gorge in it. The bridge, maybe a tunnel. Hmm. See, the spiders are doing me in, and that about does it for me then. Put that in to show you just how easy it is to be murdered by spiders in this game. Anyway, back to the actual start of the mission. Got two spider dropping saucers. They are no good, and they must be destroyed. Careful when navigating this bridge. It's a railway bridge, not intended for people to walk over. There are gaps you can fall down and get stuck. And have to descend into the valley full of spiders. The two function of the uh, SN whatever the fuck I'm using. No new weapons at the moment, I'm afraid. But I'd give the sniper rifle and the shotgun a bit more of a chance before I unlock better versions. Yeah, I'm making use of the air bike in order to get the fuck away from all these spiders. Getting the fuck away from all these spiders is my main concern at the moment. I chose this because it's much faster than the tank. See, the uh, last saucer is smoking. A filthy habit. It's not allowed to do in public places anymore. By law. I'm going to fairly uselessly try and snipe these spiders. Once again, the uh, sniper rifle proving incredibly useless on small targets that you want to snipe. With a sniper rifle. Sort of silly that the sniper rifle is most effective on taking out large metal targets rather than small fleshy ones. Sort of the opposite of what a uh, sniper rifle should really be. But no matter. Once again, it performs admirably at closer range. The shotgun to back it up. Back up, spiders, I've got a shotgun. Boom. This environment is probably the one that shows off exactly how big the environments in this game actually are. You know, buildings and roads and things that get in the way, you can see for bloody miles. Quite a large area you can actually explore and walk on. Probably not quite as large as the ones in uh, EDF 2017, very big. In fact, the maps are so big, on your first time through, you may think there are many, many more than there actually are, by virtue of some levels being set on slightly different parts of them. We are currently in rural Japan, according to the blurb at the start of the level. I'll stop all these spiders from gaining a vital foothold into Japan, the most important nation on Earth, of course. While well, the Earth Defense Force, sorry, Global Defense Force, is a international operation, the Japanese arm is supposedly the most well-known and respected arm of the EDF as they were responsible for repelling the invasion the last time. It was their Storm 1 division that 
finally took down the mothership, I say division. Storm 1 was in fact a single man, or a pair of single men, if you're playing co-op. That does it for that one, that was a bit simple. Here we're off to do a night raid. That left you plenty of time to read that one, even though there wasn't much there. The triumphant return of the little flying saucers. Aren't they lovely? Quite a few of them. Once again, I am a liar. I promised I would not use weapons gained in high difficulty levels in the main run of the game. And here I am using one. This is the Pandora Beta. We do technically have a Pandora Regular, which is what I was trying to choose when I chose the Beta instead. Kind of tempting to do so. I totally did it by accident, honest. Pandora is essentially a uh, disco ball of death. Fires lots of lasers for quite a while. The Beta is an upgraded version. The Pandora Regular is a yellow colour and fires less lasers. It takes a full minute to reload. That doesn't count times when you've got a red flashing bar, as weapons do not reload during this time. It only consumes 3% of your energy bar, which is quite nice. Later versions consume more. Also come equipped with the Thunderbow 10, an electric shotgun. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Like most electrical weapons, the Thunderbow does fire through enemies and will hit enemies through each other to the extent of its range. There's another Pandora. Lasers everywhere. Ooh. So the Pandora does look quite nice at night. The neon lights are lighting up the skyline, contrasting quite nicely with the red lasers and green glowy bits of the saucers. Kind of like some kind of dangerous space raid. There's not really that much to this level. Because once again, back in the unnamed darkened city, which is a, in a nearby location. Where did it be? Probably somewhere in Japan, presumably. And there's lots of sources, and we've killed them all. But two. That's one. There it goes. And the other one, and we're done. Wasn't that a nice mission? Really lovely. Maybe the next one's just as nice. And as a special treat, I have returned to the first level with spiders with the Gaste free, and we are going to blow up a load of spiders quite quickly on your enemies. Flying across the enemies while firing slowly ensures that they don't all target the same one. Gives a nice spread of spider death. We also have equipped with the Izuna B and a further improvement with the Izuna A. I off screened it on the uh, Infernosaurus level once again. Not sure how many more, more weapons I can gain from that stage, but I might as well keep trying. And a little bit of a boost to my health as well. I do believe I shot myself with the gaze there, which took off pretty much all of my health. One of the most dangerous aspects of the gaze is that once target it's aiming at is destroyed, the pellets sort of just spread out and then fan out everywhere and blow everything up. Such are the dangers of using an inferno mode weapon so early in the game. But that's probably quite enough of these weapons for the moment. Had enough of massive red explosions, I believe. Next video, I shall be showing off something else. Possibly some of the less good weapons we picked up. 
that I haven't actually had a chance to use in a level because they're so incredibly useless. We have a few of them. Bye.